Hello, my friends. I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily, apart from when I just was a week off ill, and I was told in no uncertain terms to stay in bed until I was better. But I've recovered. I went to see Severed Heads last night, and they were great. So we can get back into it. So, a couple of months ago, I made a very popular video about AI computer programming asking where is it that we can see all this really great AI code that will replace programmers and how good it actually is and not just take some AI bro's word for it. Like in, say, open source projects where we can see everything. Because if AI coding is such an obviously superior engineering method, we should be seeing it everywhere. And we just don't. Since then, there's been a few Performative AI code pools in open source projects, these have had a varying reception. They're generally from competent coders who know what they're doing, but every one is a guy who wanted to say he'd made an AI contribution to make a point. I mean, well done. Aren't you clever? One of these guys, Sasha Levin, got a patch into the Linux kernel. He gave a talk about using a bot to write Linux code and Linux Weekly News wrote it up. So Levin hadn't bothered telling the maintainer of that system who was committing the code, Stephen Rostet, that it was bot code, especially when it turned out the code had a bug in it. Rostet was a little annoyed. Quote, The real issue is transparency. We should not be submitting AI-generated patches without explicitly stating how it was generated. As I mentioned, if I had known it was 100% a script, I may have been a bit more critical over the patch. I shouldn't be finding this out by reading LWN articles. Unquote. Apart from performative dickheads, there's one other huge problem. I said previously how a lot of open source projects really hate AI slop, because they just get completely spammed with nonsense contributions and nonsense security reports. That's the main reason they despise AI bot code. But the second biggest reason is copyright. Open source is super concerned about copyright because open source and free software licenses rest on copyright. That's the one reason they can make license conditions about how you're allowed to reuse the code. It's copyrighted and you have a specific license to use it. That's how the whole thing works. But AI copyright is up in the air. The US Copyright Office says purely AI output is not copyrightable. But if you write something with a bot and you get back a copy of the training data, then you've copied it. And that might be a time bomb for the project receiving the code. There's been some close calls. In January, someone wanted to put a bot-coded driver into the FreeBSD operating system so it could use the XFAT file system one used on SD cards and cameras. There's an XFAT driver in Linux. They thought it'd be nice to have one in FreeBSD. So the bot generated a driver for them. Trouble is, the only open source XFAT code the bot could have trained on was the Linux code. And the Linux kernel license is not compatible with FreeBSD. You can't use it. You just can't drop Linux code into FreeBSD. David Chisnell from FreeBSD checked over the code and some of the files turned out to be pretty close copies of the Linux code, so that was not a happener. As Chisnell said, quote, They used the machine that plagiarized Linux for them. This doesn't reduce the legal liability for the project. Unquote. Some projects explicitly ban AI code. Git manages your computer source code, it's what GitHub is based on. QMU runs virtual machines. NetBSD is another operating system related to FreeBSD. They've all forbidden bot code entirely. Because you cannot declare the provenance. You can't show where the bot got the code from, and it won't tell you. You could probably sneak some bot code into these projects if you were some sort of performative dickhead. But you're the one signing off on it, and you've just nuked your reputation. None of this is about quality. It's all about provenance and watching out that some performative dickhead doesn't drop you in the poop.
Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. Please tell everyone you know I'm back and they should definitely check out this episode. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a podcast review, and Pivot's work is funded by you, my dear viewers and listeners. So if you can drop just $5 into the Patreon in the show notes, it helps a lot. You should buy a t-shirt or a mug too. They're real good. Thank you all. See you actually tomorrow. And bye for now.